with this next arc potentially being about the diamond kingdom and we can see lotus and mars and so many new characters so many new magics i am just so excited you guys don't even know What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 54. Now, I must warn you guys, I am a little tired. I just woke up, so if it takes me a couple of minutes to get back into my normal hype energy, I'm just letting you guys know why. But with how last episode ended with Julius wondering what that invasion was, because it totally wasn't their full aggressive attack strength, you guys know what I'm trying to say. And then they possibly they were searching for something, and then they were rat they were naming off the mat list of magics they know and and they showed like the new generator like, there's so much shit's going on and then we have the whole william vengeance could be licked could not be licked i still think seke and gordon are the dark lords of this universe you never know what's gonna happen but i think we should just hop right on in this episode i'm just so excited remember if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows i'm watching like jujutsu kaisen haikyuu check out that patreon we are four episodes ahead links are always in the description for you guys if you guys want to support me and patreon's not really your thing if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment it really does help me with the youtube algorithm don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed click that bell so you guys always know when i post to the dapper channel and then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias instagram twitch and twitter at dapper darius thank you guys oh so very much uh let's hop right on into this black clover episode 54 never again oh it's been so long since I saw my boy Fuegolian. Yes, he did. And he kind of popped off. <laughs> oh, so we're going to see the doctor, I see. What is this, like a wizard doctor? Mage doctor? I would love to... I would love to hear about that story. Cover mage who works Owen. Awesome. <laughs> Incredible quack doctor. Love the colors around all the grimoires. Oh, jellyfish. What is going on? Well, he uses watery quale operation? He also uses water magic. That's so cool. <laughs> I work out. What? What do you see, Doc? What? What did he see? Yes, sir. What? Oh, it's gonna mute out the conversation so we don't. He took his glasses off and everything. It has to be serious. Because it can see through the body of the person he's doing. Oh, Finral's overhearing? Come on, show. How are you gonna do this to me? He could see through the body of who he's watching with that magic, so he was able to see stuff that Asa didn't even know about his own body. I want to know what they said. You can tell it affected Finral. He's not his normal cheery self. That feels great. That feels great. We have put in so much work over these last 30 or some odd episodes. That's what's in the bag. He's treating us to some barbecue. <laughs> you see Charmy, she like... <laughs> It is a damn holiday. I was not expecting that. I, I like how Gray is taking her normal form too, you know. Like we're not seeing <sighs> anymore Gray, which I'm I'm down with. Heck yeah, Gordon. Oh well, are you gonna feed him? Oh my god. This fucking guy. Black bulls are hilarious. <laughs> what is the. Why did it blur it out? Yeah. 
What would that be? Yes. Don't blow up the world. It's been a minute since I've seen that. Oh, we didn't, we're not going to see what Gordon was going to do? Man, I want to see Gordon. Is Finra all gonna say it to the group? This man, Gordon. So he feels like it's important enough that he has to tell the group. It's like a My Hero, right? Where it's gonna have some permanent damage, but he should go somewhat back to normal? Like, how bad are we talking? Was that the mythic beast magic? Ancient curse? Are you serious? That's the... And yeah, obviously he would be the best recovery mage and he works directly on it man that's ass oh well finral feels so bad noel feels so bad everyone that sucks especially when you put it like that literally the only thing that allows them to stay on an equal playing field on these mages you know maybe that's his next arc we got to get my boy asta healed up That's exactly the response I would want I would want him to have. <laughs> Didn't you think? <laughs> I mean, when you think about it, he's been set back from literally day one. That's just like those are the kind of like Oss is the kind of person who like in show inspires the rest of the Black Bulls, but out of show inspires other people like myself, you know? Like I've been in the hospital with some debilitating disease. I was admitted for like a week and oh my God, was I down in the dumps. Thankfully, I had a lot of you guys backing me up, showing me support and stuff like that. But you always want to have the strength to persevere no matter what. And sometimes it's just hard to dig deep and find that willpower and that resolve. But Asta has been catching up to everyone else for his entire life. So this is just another, you know, how he said, fate's just fucking with me again, you know? He, He's such a good dude, I promise you. Oh lord, that's a throwback. I love it. He made that promise to you, no. So that was the last time he's ever going to be depressed. I'm <laughs> Magna. Black Bulls are amazing, I'm telling you. Is that why we're gonna go to her hometown or whatever and see the the witch's village? I know that's gonna be a theme in this arc. I completely forgot about it. Wow. So, are we doing this all for Asta? Like, just... Yeah, all trying to help my boy Asta. Everyone's going out of their way to look anywhere they can for a cure for my boy's arms. Ancient curse, man. Okay. Oh, that was Magna. I was about to say, what kind of fire-breathing shit? Search some dungeon in the barren part of the Forsaken Realm. Awesome. Ghost and Gordon are researching Hex. Oh man, everyone's putting in work. I. <laughs> Ghost is a real one that even a monkey could understand. That's hilarious. But like to look at that. That's how you know us is a real one, man. <laughs> <laughs> Unknown ingredients. <laughs> I 
Well, I'm saying he inspires people in the show and out of the show. That's how you know you're a good character. Yami, Finral, Magna, Luck, Vanessa, Ghost, Charmy, Gray, everybody. Gordon even in the background. Noel, you know, literally inspired has at one point or another inspired every single member of the Black Bulls to surpass their limits and be a better person. And it's because he's like that, you know. They all, I know I've said they're real ones, but they're all real ones, you know. It's good people. Yami yeah, I mean, knows what's going on, even though he always puts that facade on. He always knows what's going on. That's all you need in this world, man. Some good friends, and you're set. I'm telling you. <laughs> right? That's hilarious. Uh, I don't know I'd be needing fucking tissues this episode. Jesus. So I had to blow my nose there. Was not expecting it to be that emotional. Oh my god, I love that sentiment though, you know? I wasn't blessed with anything in life, you know, because magic is everything. But, you know, I was blessed with great friends and great relationships, and that's all you can ask for. Really touches home to me, but uh, I'm betting you because they muted out what Noelle's saying. She's going to see the Silvas or some more royals. You know, she does know Mimosa. She, Mimosa is also a healer. Maybe there's some ancient Vermilion, because she is Mimosa. I'm pretty sure she, maybe there's some ancient Vermilion type of healing that we can do. I don't know, but, uh. If Vanessa, I guarantee you, was going to her home area of the witch's forest, whatever. I'm just so excited. I just gotta say, man. Black Bulls all day, every day. Where is this? Not what I was expecting at all. Interesting. So, man, to think about it, Asta had, like, so many bones. I know that sound, it sounded like the bones shattered when Veto did that thing to him. But imagine the pain my boy Asta must have been through. Because, like, he really shattered some... And with the ancient mythic beast magic, some ancient curse on there. Like, that is so crazy. But like I said in the episode, I just love how worried they were about him, how they were worried how down in the dumps he would be, but then how not down in the dumps he was inspired them to just work harder and get him better because of how much he's inspired them throughout his time being there. And it's just incredible. Like, I, I love it. You know, like, it literally only makes everyone better people. Like, he makes them better, which in turn makes them stronger to help him, which in turn makes him stronger to help them. Like, it's just, that's what you get with good people helping other people out, you know? And they all have their own little individual moment with him helping them out. Now they're going in their little groups on their leads. Uh, Magna and Luck going to a, a dungeon in the Forsaken Realm looked fucking dope. Ghosh and Gordon in the library reading up on hexes. Love that. And I love how they're overcome, like, like Ghosh at any point for any other person would have never avoided that book in order to help someone. Charmy would have never avoided food in order to help someone, you know, and so they're definitely doing, you know, stuff that's, that's going out of their defined character traits to help this boy out. And he's just shows you how much he means to them. It's fucking just incredible. It's incredible. But uh, I'm definitely curious about who Noel went to go see. Skinny, redheaded, naked dude. Uh, definitely not a... I mean, it could be, but like he's living in, they made a very clear shot to say he's living in like a super beat down house. So I have no idea what's going on there. No idea who that is and how he relates to Noel. But like I said, I just love everyone helping my boy out. That doctor was super cool too, Owen. I love meeting new characters like that are just like higher ups in the, in the kingdom, like, uh, like Marx, he's, you know, right under Julius. And you got Owen who works under Julius as well, but he uses water recovery magic and it's like jellyfish and they could, that's so cool. I just love the creativity, but, uh, I think I'm going to hop into this next episode. Let me check if we have any questions here on the Q and a, um, but do, 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 Nope. Attack on Titan. Nope. Okay. So if you guys ever want to ask me any questions, there's a Q and a section on the discord. Always remember that. Other than that, if you guys could leave a like, let me know your thoughts down in those comments. Subscribe. If you guys have not click that bell. So you guys always know when I post, don't forget to check me out on Patreon. We are four episodes ahead. If you guys don't want to wait for the next upload schedule, I'll see you guys then have a great day. You guys peace out.